Whether it's furniture, electronics, even breakfast cereal, seems like there's been a shortage of just about everything lately. The supply chain has had some major problems, major issues, but those issues could get even worse soon because of another shortage. Truck drivers here in Florida, particularly, there's a desperate need for them. Recently, we told you about a federal change that might help. And this morning, ABC Action News reporter Chad Mills explore, explores how it might get newer, younger drivers out on the road. Truck driving, a career fewer and fewer young people want nowadays. And that's a problem Florida Trucking Association President Alex Miller thinks about daily. This is uh, was historically a baby boomer career. And so we're seeing those people retiring and a lot of them retired just a little bit early when the pandemic hit. She says part of the problem attracting newer, younger truck drivers is misconceptions. Everyone thinks of truck driving in that 1970s outlaws on the road um, in a rumbling old truck. But she says an even bigger problem reaching them at a young enough age to steer them toward a truck driving career. Right now, you have to be 21 or older to move interstate commerce, and that means... When you're looking at graduating from high school and what career you want to do if you don't want to go to a four-year college or university, trucking is largely off the table. So we lose that entire population of students. But soon a change might be coming. Last month, Miller learned of a new federal pilot program that allows 18, 19, and 20-year-olds with commercial driver's licenses to truck freight to and from ports and across state lines, something they're not able to do now. Right now, the program is just in its pilot stage of 3,000 young drivers, but Miller hopes it will prove successful, will expand, and will help an industry hurting for its next generation of drivers. It's a huge step in bringing in this next generation, but doing it under very tight requirements. As she references there, the program does include those strenuous requirements when it comes to training and safety. And she also points out that young people are already driving trucks within state borders and in the military. Live in Plant City, Chad Mills, ABC Action News.